Hi everyone. I don't usually start my projects where I've already disassembled the thing, but this one was a bit different. This is a power bank that I got from the flea market. And in an attempt that I wanted to try it out and see if it works or not, I started charging it. And after I turned it on, so after I pressed on the button to turn on the power bank, the whole thing started getting really, really hot. So I was afraid that it might cause a fire and I kind of went ahead and disassembled the whole thing. So I disconnected the batteries and I removed the, uh, the PCB in an attempt to prevent any further damage to, to it. So the plan for today is that we are gonna take a look at the board and immediately after opening this, I noticed that it's corroded a lot. So it's probably been underwater or being submerged to, uh, in some liquid. And that caused all of the connections on the batteries and all, and a lot of corrosion to happen on the board. So the, the idea is that I'll first start and clean off the board test it using my bench power supply. And if the whole thing works, then we're going to go in and replace the batteries and hopefully repair this power bank so we can use it. So let's start first off by cleaning off this board. I'll use isopropyl alcohol along with the toothbrush to basically scrap all of the corrosion that's on the board and see if the board will accept uh, voltage and if it will work properly. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can use the services of PCBWay when you need custom PCBs, PCB assembly, CNC machining, and 3D printing. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all of your prototyping needs, where you get excellent prices and you can even get your first order for free. Visit their website on the link below and you will get a $5 coupon to jumpstart your project and get it professionally manufactured. Okay, so I placed some paper towels down on the bench so I can prevent any spills uh, from the alcohol. And I'll start generously and rub off the board to get all of the dirt. Other than the liquid, it seems that the board was also covered in some dirt. So hopefully this should clean it up and we'll then inspect the, the level of the damage that we have on the board and if we can do something about it. Um, so far I can see that it cleans up nicely, at least to an extent that I can see. Let's do the other side. So the problem with this was that immediately when it started operating, so it started getting really hot. So I'm guessing that something on the board was shorting out, causing the inductor here to continually operate and maybe even provide a larger voltage. I didn't test the voltage because I was afraid that it might uh, broke some, it might break something uh, because of the uh, all the heat that it developed. But the LEDs here, you can see here we have four LEDs. Those were working. So I really have some high hopes for this board. And here's the board after the cleanup. I think it did clean really nicely. Uh, you can see on the edges here that we have some corrosion on the copper layer, possibly in places where we have some vias going through where the water was able to go through the board. But I did inspect this board and I didn't see any 
obvious signs of any tracks being uh, eaten away uh, from the corrosion. There are a few capacitors like this one that they have slight discoloration on the pads on one side. Uh, but I don't think that that might be a problem, but we don't really know. So I've make sure I made sure to clean up all of the corrosion in between the pins on these uh, chips here. And we'll see, I've stripped some of the wire coming off the board and I'll use my power supply to connect the board to my bench power supply and we'll see how it behaves. So I'll first start with um, a lower voltage and we'll see how this whole circuit behaves. I've connected the board to my power supply, it's currently off and I also have this voltage monitor that I've attached to the output of the board. So let's see uh, what happens, actually I'm going to disconnect this one first and possibly measure the output voltage with my um, multimeter before I connect my tester. So let's see how that goes. Um, first, let's try and power on the power supply. I have it at uh, 3.5 volt with 500 milliamps uh, of limit. And as it stands, it's currently drawing about 20 milliamps without it being on. And I accidentally pressed it. So let's see if we get anything. Okay, we had a bit brief flash here. Maybe it's complaining about the current. Let's try to increase the current limit. I'll go to one amp. Let's try and hold it. Okay, so only D1 flashes. Um, I'm not really sure what that means. Let's try to increase voltage. I'll go to four volts. So that would be a good, good voltage for a 18650 battery. Let's try now. Okay. That was a bit different. Now there is a, an LED here that I think it's being used as a flashlight, but I'm not really sure how to activate it. So I don't see anything getting hot, but I don't see anything yet on the board. in terms of triggering it. Um, let's try to, okay, you know what? I'm gonna plug this and see if that works. Okay, nothing happened. Uh, maybe we need something that would draw some current. Okay, so I did some inspection and I kind of came to a sort of a dead end. So I'm not seeing any voltage on the output of the USBs, even when I press um, the the button here, I have a load connected to one of them, but it's not powering on. And I think that the problem might be in some of the capacitor that I told you that they don't really have a contact left. My guess is that something is disconnected and we, when you try to power it on then it just immediately shuts off because it sees that something is wrong. I'll try to play a bit more with the board and see 
if I can discover where the problem lies and I'll get back. After some further exploration, I've decided to try and look for the chips that are here on the board. And I found data sheets for both of them. Uh, the first one is the protection IC. Uh, that's this one here, the smaller one on the board. And that seems to be working fine. And if we go down here, we can see that it's typical application requires only a single capacitor that's uh, added just below it from 0 0.1 microfarads. I think that that should be okay because the problem that we are seeing with this board is not starting up. So, and that is controlled by the other uh, chip, the IP5108, which is this long, long one here. And there is also the, unfortunately, the data sheet is in Chinese, so I don't really understand the thing. But from its typical application circuit, I can see that there are multiple capacitors that are connected to it. And we see the arrangement with the four LEDs and also some additional um, like capacitors on the output, the inductor here with uh, its with a resistor, which is 10 milliohm. So probably the one over here. And that should be connected to the battery positive, which it is. Now I'm suspecting that some of the capacitors here and specifically this one here on the back uh, might be faulty because I have this running for a while now while drawing 30 milliamps uh, from the power supply. And this capacitor here feels a bit warmer than the rest of the circuit. So, and I'm not really sure what that capacitor value is. So, um, my plan is that I'll replace that capacitor with a similar looking one, even though I don't know if uh, that would fix it or not. Hopefully we can see. And for that, I'll use some of the capacitors from this um, hard drive controller that I have from a bro broken hard drive and I'll use to just scavenge some of these capacitors here and try to replace them there, see if that makes any difference. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to identify what's wrong with the board and I'll have to end the video here. I went and re removed these two chips uh, to try and clean up any corrosion that it might have been underneath, but still, once resoldered, we get to the same result and not knowing what the values here are and not being able to measure any of the capacitors limits me to uh, what I can do. So I'll end the video here. If you have any ideas what might be wrong with this board, then please leave them down in the comments, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.